Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And in the continuing, it's turning into a series about these bit holders. Um, I still love this thing, this snap-on one that I'm using. But uh, in the comments, people were making other suggestions for different kind of bit holders. So I'm exploring that a little further. And one of them today I want to go over has to do with using what are what are generally sold as ammo boxes. So this one here you can see is, looks like that. MTM Case Guard. This is a Case Guard 100, a P122. Holds all the bits from 22 caliber to 25 caliber. And this particular guy um, is a winner, total winner. It's a solid toolbox or bit box. Uses an actual hinge, although this does look like it separates pretty easily. It sells for a little over three bucks on Amazon. Um, and it surprised me how easily and how well it holds bits. So I started kind of digging in and, and dropping bits in. You have all kinds of organization potential here. Um, and also I guess you could cord or make coordinates on this and play battleship with your bits or something like that if you wanted. But anyway, this is a, uh, this is a winner for, especially for the money. Um, there's a link below for uh, these things on Amazon snaps shut tight so that's something um, that as you recall let me grab it here this guy did not do um, this one I had to work on so you know paying four four to five times as much for this guy holds more bits um, they're in there nice and solid uh, so that's a winner this uh, MTM case guard I'm going to be getting more of those. I also uh, went after the MTM Case Guard 30, which is, this one uh, comes in this container here, so it holds both 17 and, and Magnum bits. Um, and this guy uh, says size and shape of a man's wallet. Um, okay, anyway, uh, it will come in handy, you know, for other, other more, you know, kind of expected bits in here, but... Um, I did find they do stay in, you can see, but you kind of have to pop them in. I don't know how long that's going to last or if it's going to affect it in cold weather. Um, this one only holds 30, or less than one-third of what this one does. Um, and I don't think it's, you know, if you were carrying it as a wallet, I guess. I use stuff this size for holding flies, for fi fly fishing all the time. Um, but anyway... As far as a bit holder, yeah, it works. It's, they're in there solid. I could see it for maybe some specialty bits, um, or you wanted to keep them separate there. Uh, it's a, a heavier plastic, it feels like. And this one sells for $7 and change on Amazon. So it's got, a, it's got this, the plastic um, hinge. It doesn't have an actual hinge mechanism like this one does. I wonder if I can pop that lid off. Yeah. So that one just pops right off. If you want want to do that for some reason, put 100 bits on the floor. Um, but otherwise, holds on nice and snug. I don't know if it says anything about warranty on here. Because they're the same company, so I assume uh, similar molded products. They're out of Dayton, Ohio. Both of these um, are made in the USA, so that's good. Uh, guaranteed for 10 years of data purchase when used for purposes described herein. So I don't know if bits violate that or not. I would have trouble believing they'd cause a problem here. Um, but, you know, let me measure. Well, what would that be? And let me see. Hang on just a second here. Grab this. I should know this, I guess. What I'm going to do is go to um, inches here, zero that out, and assuming that's... So this is about a 24 caliber bit, almost 25 caliber. Um, so it, it, that's why there's a little bit of stickiness trying to shove it in there. And I also found... Uh, you know, it's it when I you really have to push almost to the point of gonna break it um, if you try to stack the bits next to each other in these um, because you're prying prying those. Um, can it be done? Yes, it, you can get it in there, um, but it goes in a little bit easier when you give it a little bit of space. They do pop out nice and easy though, which is handy. Anyway, brought in those two, but hey, check this out. How's that for a bit holder? 
I uh, saw this on Amazon a while ago and thought, that is just ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. I couldn't find any, anywhere else that sold it. Couldn't even see any good pictures. The one on Amazon, it looks like it's really hard. This is actually, actually a rubbery material, so you can see it bend. Looks like they've upgraded it. Um, look at that. That just is hilarious. I thought maybe uh, uh, that might come in handy for April Fool's Day. It didn't arrive in time. And of course, you can have fun with it. Look at that. Not, not making fun of anybody. I'm just saying, you know, if you borrow a bit, it's going to show up. Holds 14 bits on each side for 28 total bits. It actually showed up with a, uh, a small bit set, which looked like this. Uh, kind of similar rubbery material. It is different, I mean, in feel, so this might be a purchased one that they include um, that came with more bits. Um, so there were 32 bits, 16 aside, um, and uh, I didn't show, I didn't put these in. Um, and it comes with a, a magnetic bit holder, which, you know, for the, for the price, you know, it's okay. Um, but uh, this whole thing was a little over 20 bucks. So that's how much I invested in in you guys today for this guy. Um, this holds 100 for three, $3 and change. This holds 30 for $7, or you can hold 28 for um, 20 bucks. Anyway, great, great uh, gift for the person who's got everything. And with that, Doc out.